Hello guys, uh, welcome to my video. So if you are an Oracle DBA and if you are interested in becoming a DevOps engineer then please subscribe to my channel. I regularly post videos on DevOps. So in this video I want to actually compare my Oracle DBA experience and my DevOps engineering experience uh, just to show you like in a little bit more detail about what I do uh, just so you can actually prepare yourself for uh, your future right which is DevOps engineering so as an Oracle DBA I actually did like database installation rack installation I you know configured databases I, I've done upgrades from a certain version to a certain version like from 9i to 10g, 10g to 11g, 11g to 12c, 11g to 19c, that kind of thing. Patching, PSU patching, like O patch, uh, one off patches, bug fixes, that kind of thing. Backups, Arman backups, uh, basically, uh, I used to monitor these backups and like troubleshoot them when they fail and then take action appropriately. Uh, and of course performance tuning that was that's my favorite one uh, SQL tuning performance tuning uh, and then like you know you also I, I, I work on uh, application connectivity issues like uh, of course like setting up applications from scratch like that means like schema creation user creation uh, you know allocating correct privileges, assigning correct privileges for these users, that kind of thing. Uh, very bad uh, basics actually of uh, database. Uh, high availability, like data guard, again rack, uh, golden gate. So, and then production support, right? So I used to work on production all the time. Uh, it was actually pretty stressful sometimes uh, when you have to solve problems quickly because if um, first of all you're all, you know you're working on production and which which most people don't do on day-to-day -day basis uh, but as, as a DBA you you need to do that right so if you do any mistakes in production that's actually a direct monetary impact uh, it's not for all the databases but that's you know I've worked on uh, very critical applications or databases that supported very critical applications so so it was pretty stressful and I had to work alongside like CIOs and senior directors so like you know with them like watching over uh, my shoulder uh, I had to keep my cool whenever uh, there was firefighting and all that so that's just a quick uh, you know quick recap of my database experience and uh, you know right if you look at my database engineering experience uh, you know right now this is what I do I create a lot of pipelines and I do that to automate things and what am I automating I'm automating database lifecycle operations so what is that that means basically like if you look at a database life it needs to get created it needs to be upgraded all the things that I told you on the left hand side basically database lifecycle right and uh, yeah, it needs to be upgraded and at some point actually you you know for some non fraud databases You might have to destroy those databases and recreate them and when databases crash you need a way to restore them and Switch over right switch over is a planned activity a failover. You know, that's also part of a lifecycle operation so I do cre I create these pipelines to automate all these operations but it's not about just creating these pipelines like you know my pipelines don't <laughs> magically appear you need to uh, work on the the things that underlie pipelines which is basically python scripts uh, you know any any code that needs to work with cloud uh, like aws and uh, we use a, a tool called terraform to uh, you know to automate things on on uh, cloud uh, also these pipelines are uh, basically working with uh, kubernetes and docker behind the scenes and i haven't created the kubernetes cluster that i work with 
but i do understand at a very high level actually like what is happening what are pipelines doing and what do i need to do to actually make use of my kubernetes cluster so so i'm i'm, uh, I'm doing that and also as a devops engineer like sometimes you need to uh, use like apis and services which are created by other teams actually and like pipelines which are created by other teams so we can just call their pipelines and and that will actually uh, do something you know that can do something for you and that can be part of your automation right so yeah so that that is actually part of devops engineering job so moving on to like non-technical details actually so as a dba there was a lot of unplanned work that's because like there was a lot of production support and like you know things come up uh, or abruptly like like you know some alert will will pop up and because of that alert you need to jump you know jump on a bridge and troubleshoot a problem so that's all unplanned work like somebody might walk in and then they they say like oh yeah this query is running slowly like one day you log into your database and you see that like your database uh, the CPU on the database host is actually quite high so you need to investigate that so there was a lot of unplanned work uh, that I had to do as a DBA whereas a DevOps engineer I still do a lot of support work like I support the pipelines that uh, I've created or my team has created but at the same time there is a lot of structure so we I you know we do follow agile development agile methodologies very uh, very strictly uh, that means actually like sprint planning allocating stories in the sprint uh, picking the correct stories uh, that kind of thing so so that's actually a uh, another thing that you you know that you might want to get familiar with previously like you know I used to just solve problems and then you know maybe just create logs on the server but that's it actually I used to not document things that much but these days like I try to document more and more uh, at each stage actually like from the ideation stage designing of the pipelines and you know and then breaking down a project into multiple stories uh, and then that is also documented and uh, yeah so there's a lot more documentation that I'm doing as a DevOps engineer and that's probably like true for you too actually so I just wanted to let you know as well uh, well that's pretty much it actually I hope that video this video was useful to you and if you have any specific questions uh, feel free to actually put it down in the comments uh, you know I'll try to actually get to it as soon as possible and uh, thanks for your time I will see you guys in my next video